Hello class 10, welcome to history lecture. Today we are continuing with our second chapter and today we will do the education uh, or the spread of education by the English East India Company. So that we have already started and we have seen that uh, mainly it started, the education in India started with private initiative of individual personalities. Much later we have seen that the British government or the English East India Company had taken initiative to spread education in India. So today we will see the Woods Dispatch, which was one of the most important educational dispatch in India. And you see that this was a landmark event. It was regarded, the Woods Dispatch is regarded as a Magna Carta of Western education in India because many major changes came with the dispatch which was announced by the Secretary of State, Charles Wood. So when Charles Wood became the Secretary of State, he, he declared his uh, dispatch about the education, spread of education in India and there we will see that many changes were introduced. Before this, we have seen the Macaulay's Minute and then this is student to this controversy came to an end with the Macaulay's Minute where Michael said that only English education will be given because their motive is to create a class of uh, clerks who will be British in taste and opinion. So, uh, and they wanted to spread education, only higher education they were giving. But in from Wood's dispatch, we will see a major change came. So, Wood's dispatch was announced on 19th of July, 1854. And this is a landmark event to the Magna Carta of Western Education because we see that first thing that Charles Wood proposed was the diffusion or spread of education, European education, European knowledge, European knowledge in India. Diffusion of spread of European knowledge in India in different fields, that is in arts, science, philosophy, literature, in all fields, he proposed the spread of knowledge, not only in any particular subject, but he proposed the spread or diffusion of knowledge in different fields like arts, uh, literature, science, and uh, of course philosophy and uh, other uh, like uh, important subjects were also given importance where he said that there should be spread of knowledge and here Woods proposed that Knowledge should be given both in English language for spread of European language. He said that English uh, language and European language, Indian language, English language and Indian language both should be the medium because if European knowledge has to be spread, English language and Indian language both should be the medium of instruction. Apart from that, we see that uh, it proposed the formation of separate branches for specialization, formation of separate departments, formation of separate departments for specialization on any subject, that is separate department for higher studies of English, for Bengali, for history, for geography, for every subject separate departments should be there for higher studies purpose. Also, it was said, it was proposed the formation of universities. It was one of the major uh, changes that, uh, that Charles Wood proposed the establishing of universities in India based on the model of the London University. So, based on Charles Wood's proposal, we see after few years, he proposed it and it was adopted. And in 1857, the Calcutta University, the Bombay University and the Madras University was established uh, on the model of the London University. And at these universities, we see that separate branches were established for higher studies of different subjects. So, this was an important change, important uh, stride forward the development of education in India. Apart from these, uh, we see that uh, previously we have seen that the elementary or primary education was not given any importance. The government did not take any initiative to spread primary education, but Woods Dispatch. In the Woods Dispatch, Charles Wood proposed that elementary education should also be taken up by the government. That is, government should establish primary educational institution for giving education at elementary level. So for the first time we see from the government side 
uh, education for elementary level is also taken up. Previously, we see only higher education they were giving, but Woods Dispatch proposed education should be given in elementary level also. This was another important um, change, and also we see that Woods proposed the uh, like appointment of inspectors for uh, checking the progress and growth of education in every institution. So these were the changes uh, that were uh, brought about by the Woods Dispatch. We see that not only higher education. Uh, but uh, also we see that education in like primary level, uh, primary level or elementary level was uh, given importance. And apart from that, not only they are giving education for uh, the post of clerical jobs, but they are giving education in different uh, subjects. Uh, and they are bringing on specialization in arts and science, in uh, languages. All uh, departments, all different branches are given importance so that knowledge can be increased. For the spread of knowledge, we see for the first time education is being given. So Woods Dispatch is a very important change in the Western education and there we see this Woods Dispatch which was proposed on 19th of July 1854. That is why it is regarded as the most important dispatch uh, de declared by Sir Charles Wood and Charles Wood was the secretary of the state that you have to remember and this uh, we see marked a huge change towards the western education that is uh, it is just in this time that is in 1854 whatever changes were proposed and after 1857 we will see that the way the western education was given was completely different from what was given before 1857 report. So this is the Charles Woods Dispatch which is very important for the spread of western education in India. Thank you.